Hi, my handsome, strong, wonderful, awesome masculines. This is another day for our Men Appreciation Week. So, men or masculine, because you could be a woman in masculine energy. This is messages from the feminine. So, you could be a man dealing with a man, a man dealing with a woman, a woman dealing with a woman, a woman dealing with a man. It don't matter. This is from the feminine to the masculine. We're appreciating the masculine. I may say man and woman just for reading sake, okay, y'all? So, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It is me, Yansa. If you like these type of messages, let me know in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up. You can subscribe as well. Book a personal reading with me. Follow me on all my social media. And donate to the channel, you guys. So, yeah, let's jump into it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, protect me as I go within the tarot. Please keep me safe. Close our doors from the negativity sneaks in and give me clear, honest messages. Please, ancestors and guides, take me to the white light. Return to sender any and all negativity. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, masculine, let's jump into it. Okay. What we got for y'all? Okay, we got one plus one by Beyonce. I don't own any songs. I play in my videos. Let's go. Okay, men. Let's see how you're feeling mentally. Because men have mental health as well. What do you have for my men? The masculines, please. That's a little too loud. I ain't trying to copyright. I hope y'all can hear it. Okay. All right. What messages do you have for the masculines, please? Y'all got the same card that came out in your first reading, day one, Monday. Potion. You guys, remember to take some time out and take care of yourselves. Love on yourselves. Groom yourselves. Make up your bed. Put some lotion on. Put some lotion on. You know, fix your feet up. Fix your beard up. Get a haircut. It says, remember to practice self-love. So ask yourself, what actions show me that I love myself? What can I do to show myself that I love myself? Okay, Clover, release your guilt. Masculines, what have you been holding on to? Okay. 21 breaks down to a three. What are you guilty of? Is this a false guilt that somebody tried to push on you? Release this guilt, masculines. You've been carrying the burden of guilt on your shoulders for far too long, masculine. It's now negatively impacting all facets of your life and making it impossible to function. This is why you need to practice self-care and self-love, okay? You've come to a crossroads where you need to choose a direction. Go ahead and make your reparations or release yourself from the cage you've built around yourself. Hint, sometimes the first road leads back around to the second. So don't, don't be like, oh, I should have did this. I should have did that. It'll all, what is for you is, will always be for you. You'll find your way back anyway. All right, masculines. What does spirit want you to know? What does spirit want to tell you? Holy, Holy Spirit, give me a message for the masculines. What's the spirit animal for the masculines? All right, this is day two, Tuesday. This is going to be all week. Men Appreciation Week. All right. Y'all got a lot coming out. Masculine, you have buffalo spirit. The abundant universe will provide. The universe will provide. What is it that you're needing? What is it that you're wanting? Ask the universe for it because the universe will provide. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith, masculine. Go ahead and take that leap because the universe has your back. The universe will provide. We got the number 10 and then the number 30. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. So some things may be a mystery for you. Still, take that leap of faith, though. Number eight. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Dream the world that you want into being. In the first reading, Monday, the one that I did for y'all, is I said, as a man thinketh, so, so is he. So whatever you think is going to come to pass, it's going to happen. Whatever you think is what you are, who you are. Okay? So dream the world into being. Take the leap of faith. The universe will provide there some things may be a mystery and that's fine still take that leap of faith you may not want to take the leap of faith because you need clear honest messages clear honest um direction 
Don't worry about all that right now. Remember, these readings are for entertainment purposes. All right. What's going on currently in your love life, masculines? What's going on currently in your love life? Finances and career. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your finances. Right now, financial issues are a factor in your love life. Okay. What about the feminine? What's going on currently for the feminine? What's going on for the feminine? Attraction. They are attracted to you. So attracted to you. The feminine is trying to attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. They may be trying to attract you. We have pay attention to the red flags. Is there something that you're doing that's making this feminine think that there are red flags? It could have something to do with your money. Maybe you've pulled back from the feminine because your money's looking a little tight right now. And the feminine is like, well, that's a red flag. This nigga broke. Okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay. The signs are cautioning you. Clarify, pay attention to the red flags separation yeah you pull back you pull back this feminine may think that you got another person but it's that's not it you're just trying to work on your finances okay time apart from your partner is on the horizon this is my shit bro <sighs> i don't need me a basketball player oh my gosh we love you masculines. Okay, let your friends help you. This feminine has been talking to her girlfriends, talking to her friends about this. This feminine is wondering why you've been so distant, okay? And now everybody's like, oh, that's a red flag. So get this money together. Get this money together, masculine, okay? There's, this feminine is attracted to you. I don't, think, I don't think they're going anywhere. But, yeah. All right. Let's get some more messages from your feminine. Let's see some of her fears, some of her anxieties, some things that, you know, she may be thinking about or going through on a daily. Okay. When I say she, it could be he, whoever your feminine is, y'all. Okay. I don't own any songs I play in my readings. All right. And these messages are general. You guys only take what resonates. What are some of the feminine fears? What are some of the feminine hopes and fears with the masculine? What are some of the feminine hopes and fears? Okay. He's a player, sis. Yeah, he's a player. This, these are her fears. She fears that you're a player. And you know who's telling her this? Her friends. He is a player, sis. Okay, are you a player, masculine? Maybe you is playing. You've been exposed. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid of our connection. Maybe this feminine is afraid. Maybe you're afraid of the connection. Okay, and you pull back. And that they, there are these red flags. You don't know what this feminine is picturing. Any crazy thing up in her mind. Y'all know how we do. Come on. I love everything about you. All right. This feminine says, I love everything about you. This feminine hopes that you love everything about her. I project my feelings onto you. So any insecurity that this feminine may have, they may have projected it onto you. Okay. It's, it's not intentional. This, this feminine has a lot of fears. Could be a Sagittarius. Someone with Sagittarius in their chart. This is some in and out energy. This could be the temperance. Needing to be patient and take some time. Maybe there's that separation. I'm getting a super huge pullback energy. Somebody pulled their energy way back. Okay? I know what I need to do now. This feminine is hoping that you get a clue. And you know, you finally figure out what you need to do now. Okay? This feminine is afraid of you being too invested. Look, it says, I'm too invested in something else right now. You're invested in your finances, your money. You're invested in yourself. So I'm getting a little bit of codependency. And you, maybe you peep this from your feminine and it's not her fault or whoever your feminine is. Okay. I feel bad. So I make you feel bad. Okay. 
maybe these are things that you've done to the feminine all right but one of y'all said that they they sorry the feminine said that they're sorry or maybe this is you telling the feminine that you're sorry masculine but they do apologize okay these are some of their hopes and fears hoping that you'll apologize hoping that um when you guys come together you're not spending all of your time elsewhere they want to spend time with you too not to invest it hopefully and they want they don't want you to be passive aggressive whenever you feel bad don't make them feel bad they're hoping that you do it right this time okay don't be if they don't want to be afraid of the connection anymore they do love everything about you all right let's see how they view you in the bedroom what are a lot of what are some things that this feminine likes about the masculine in the bedroom all right what does this feminine like about the masculine in the bedroom what does this feminine like about the masculine in the bedroom What does this feminine like about the masculine in the bedroom? What does what are some things that this feminine likes about the masculine in the bedroom? All right, they like when you guys have shower sex or they I'm getting that they miss having shower sex with you. Maybe y'all haven't had shower sex in a while. They miss that. Okay, strawberries and whipped cream. These are some of their fantasies right here. They miss this. This is what they want you to do. This is what they fantasize. This is what they like, okay? When y'all start get bringing that food and shit in the bed, okay? Maybe they feel like you get lazy sometimes. You're a lazy lover. Maybe you feel like this feminine is a lazy lover, okay? These are general, all right? What they like about you is you fuck them better than anybody else has. It says you fuck me better than them. All right, they say you got the you got the trophy. Somebody says I only want sex. Maybe this feminine says they only want sex. Maybe you said you only want sex. I should have showed that card. I saw karmic feminine, y'all. Damn, but I didn't show it because we not worried about them bitches. All right. <laughs> you make me feel like a man. You make me feel like a woman. So you make them feel you you. I don't know what that tone was, but y'all know the song. You make me feel like a natural woman. I tried to sing it, but just don't worry about it, all right? My voice is not here tonight. <laughs> you make me feel like such a man. You make me feel like such a woman. You make me feel so masculine. You make me feel so feminine, all right? Okay, what this feminine likes is they like when you eat it from the back pussy talk. They said they love when you make that pussy talk. Maybe this is a fantasy. This is what they want you to do. Eat it from the back and then come back and let me know how it went. Okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I love giving head. Maybe your feminine likes giving you head. Maybe you like giving your feminine head. One of, one of you or both of you like that shit. I only have sex to offer. I only want sex. Who is this? There's some red flags that's coming up. Now you done told on yourself, masculine. I only have sex to offer. Candy kisses. Okay. Every time you kiss this person, they melt. Every time they kiss you, you melt. Okay, eat it or suck it with chocolate and strawberries. Here y'all go, bringing that damn food in the bed. Who washing the sheets? Who doing it? Okay. Y'all got y'all got chocolate and strawberries. Y'all got whipped cream, all of that shit. Okay, they, somebody says, I only want you. I only want you. You fuck me better than them. And you are so tempting. So maybe... You two already have other people, and you both are each other's side pieces. Mm. This is why y'all be having to have them quickies. Look, I ain't lying. Y'all be having to have quickies. There it is. Okay. <laughs> they like having quickies with you. Okay. I dream about you. This feminine is dreaming about you, or you are dreaming about them. Y'all probably be astral projecting and having dream sex. Y'all be careful. I want to put my tongue in it. Oh, is this what you want to do? Is this what we doing? Let me find out. Could be dealing with a Gemini, someone with Gemini in their chart. The Gemini could represent, you could have met this person during Gemini season or the magician. 
You want to work things out with this person. Take control of your personal power. Manifest, okay? All right, so this is what they like most about you. All right, what is the mutual energy between the masculine and their feminine? What's the mutual energy between this uh, my masculine and their feminine? What is the mutual energy? If I could talk right, what's the mutual energy between my masculines and their feminine? What's the mutual energy? Doubt. You both don't trust each other. You both don't, um, you both doubt, have doubts, have your doubts about each other. No, nah, this ain't going to last. No, nah, they're not the one for me. No, it's just the sex thing. I don't know what y'all got going on, but it says, I release the need to know all the answers. Remember, we had life as a mystery. Okay, so maybe you don't know what you guys are right now. You're doubting the potential. Don't doubt the potential, okay? What's the mutual energy between my masculines and their feminine? What's the mutual energy between my masculines and their feminine? Discipline. You're both trying to be disciplined. Maybe you two, whenever y'all get together, y'all lose track of time. Y'all get, um, y'all lose focus and things like that. Whatever it is, this is why you pull back so much and you're trying to focus on your finances because you could lose yourself in this relationship. All right. This may be why you're so afraid of it. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Are you, so you're trying to stay focused. This feminine is trying to stay focused. You don't want to lose yourselves in this relationship. We got judgment at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you two judged each other too harshly. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Okay. That's the mutual energy between you and your feminine. So what does this feminine like most about my masculine? What do the feminines like most about my masculines? What do the feminines like most about the masculine? Gentleness. This came out in your other one, the first one that I did for Monday. This one is for Tuesday. So you are very gentle. They love how gentle you are with them. And they have healing as well. You've, you've healed this feminine in some type of way, whether you know it or not. You're so gentle with the way you talk, with the way that you touch them. You touch their heart, touch their body, their mind, their spirit. It's very healing. They like that you can express your feelings. You're not afraid of your feelings. They like that you guys have a good friendship or maybe this is what they want. They want you even... Some of y'all may just be friends right now. And you guys could be friends with a, a woman and they are in love with you. Or you could be in love with a friend. What does this feminine like most about my masculine? What do the feminines like most about my masculines, please? The future. They can see a future with you. You guys talk about you guys' goals. You guys talk about what you want to do in the future, where you want to be. Maybe you two made a promise to be with each other in the future. I don't know. Clarify the future. They feel like you could be a psychic. You could be a Pisces. You could be a Pisces male. The future. Content. They feel like you you can be content with where your life is going, where your life is headed. They feel like you did really well for yourself. Your future is looking bright. Yeah, abundance. Your fe They feel what they like most about you is that they don't have to worry about their future. They don't have to worry about the kids. They don't have to worry about the legacy. They don't have to worry about anything. You guys are abundant. So you really took in the, you've taken a lot of stress off of this feminine. Um, what's next for the masculine and feminine in regards to their love life? What's next? What's next? What's the next step? What's going to happen next? What is going to happen next for my masculines and feminines? What's going to happen next for my masculines and their feminine?
true love. If y'all could only trust each other. If y'all could only trust each other. Somebody is codependent. I don't know if there are addictions or if this feminine needs to be under you all the time. Or maybe someone has some issues in regard to money. I don't know what it is. If only you could get past this codependency and start trusting each other. Okay? And experience this true love. This is what's next. So there may be some hiccups. There may be some stumbling blocks. Will you guys be able to withstand it and grow together? Look, this is your soulmate. You guys need to remember to date each other. You, th This relationship shouldn't be a chore. Remember, to date. Go on dates. Y'all are in a relationship. Make sure you're still dating one another, courting one another. This is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Don't let these addictions affect your romantic life. This is your true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right. What's next for the masculine and feminine? What's next for my masculines and their feminine? What's next for my masculines and their feminine? I hear, because you're my black brother, strong brother. I would never try to hurt you. I want you to know that I'm here for you forever. Whenever I get a man, I'm going to sing that song to him. <laughs> we appreciate you, masculine. <laughs> we appreciate you. What's next for my masculines and their feminine? What's next for my masculines? Damn. Whoa, sorry, y'all. Okay. Being in the flow. Yes, let this unfold naturally. Trust each other. I am in the flow of the universe. The abundant universe will provide. You both will be in the flow with one another. Planting seeds even. Um, tell me something about uh, my masculine feminine that the masculine may not know. Let's find out one thing about your feminine that you may not know right now. Or that you just may not know at all. Tell me one thing about this feminine that the masculine doesn't know. Tell me something about it. This feminine, the feminine that my masculines don't know. Mm -hmm. She don't want to tell. This feminine don't want to tell. Tell me something about this feminine that my masculines don't know. All right. Balance spirituality and practicality. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Your feminine is trying to get balance. A personal issue reaches resolution. So this, your feminine has a personal issue right now. It's going to reach resolution. They need to get balance right now. All right. And it's time to take action. This feminine may have been complacent. This feminine is going to start taking more action and taking back control of their life. This feminine could be an Aries, Cancer, or a Pisces. Clarify this energy. Balance spirituality, practicality, a personal issue, with resolution. It's time to take action. Okay, so once this feminine gets balanced, they're able to resolve this personal issue and take action towards you. Maybe this feminine was insecure or something. Too insecure to take action towards you. Yeah, expect powerful change. It's time to release negativity. So maybe there are some negative ways that this feminine had going on. Maybe not needing to listen to their friends so much. Take things with a grain of salt. All right. And then your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. So sometimes this feminine may be a little unrealistic. Wanting to do things without a plan. All right. But they're changing. They're growing. I feel like this feminine is going through an, a mature a growth and maturity. That's what it is. All right, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Expect powerful change. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Balance spirituality and practicality. A uh, Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. Cancer, a personal issue reaches resolution. Or an Aries, it's time to take action. Okay. 
did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? No, that's it. I love y'all. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you like this type of reading, let me know in the comments. You can give me a like, subscribe, and let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you want me to add anything in the next reading. You guys don't forget to book a personal reading with me if you like. You can like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a love donation. Follow me on all my social media. Until I see you guys again, check out all your other readings. I'll see you next time. Peace.